Hello Sagittarius, I'm Susie from The Gift 202 and we're here to read your cards for the week of the 21st of March. So Sagittarius, 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 what would you like Sagittarius to know about the week of the 21st of March please? For Sagittarius, what are the energies for Sagittarius for the week of the 21st of March for Sagittarius? Week of the 21st for Sagittarius please, angels, spirit, guides, universe for Sagittarius for the week of the 21st, angels. Sagittarius for the week of the 21st of March. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. Sagittarius please, angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Sagittarius to know? If it resonates with you, just press the button. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Sagittarius to know about the week of the 21st of March for Sagittarius? Give us that message for the week of Sagittarius. Oh, upside down. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Sagittarius to know about the week of the 21st of March for Sagittarius, please? Give us the two more cards for Sagittarius. The two more cards for Sagittarius, please. Angel spirit cards. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, so the first card, bottom of the deck. Hold on. It's hard to turn off. But we've got the fool at the bottom of the deck. New beginnings, zero point playfulness, jumping into the unknown and travel at the end of this week. So there's nothing Sagittarius likes more than to move and to travel. So the Knight of Wands, someone's rushing in here. They've got your back. They want to talk. There could have been some talking communication going on. Um, it could even be a brother. Uh, this depicts a Gemini. He's on a moving horse and he likes to start a row, uh, but he usually shakes things up so things can get healed. He likes to start a war. Someone's on that horse with you. They want, they have your back and they want to charge in and fight your cause, if you like. There could be something about a team, a house, a party at a house. Um, but this is a contract. So someone's coming in t to your work or this contract and you feel that it's it's your turn. You feel that this is your turn. You, you might be building a home, a foundation with somebody or there's talks going on about this home and you feel that the wheel's in your favour, this is fate. This person coming in at this time is fate. Um, it's, it's, there's, there's the moon here. So, so when I get this moon, it can, it can just depict that this, this could come to fruition in the month of the moon, but there's something that is confusing you emotionally. You don't quite have enough information because the moon illuminates the night. It, it's not the sun illuminating everything. So you, you get to see everything in a half light, if you know what I mean. You can't see it clearly. So you're going to see things clearly within the in a month, probably the 21st of uh, April. So uh, someone could be coming towards you also. It could be dealing with a Cancer or Scorpio and or Gemini. Um, but there's a clear stretch of fruitful communication, activity. Um, they could come towards you in the night or you're traveling towards them. They want to talk. There's the swift hours of love as well or air, air travel. Uh, there could be some kind of... You could be speaking to someone from abroad and you're confused about this house is going to work. Is it, are they too far away? So... You might hear that a cancellation of an event or a someone's not feeling well or they need to or you need to sit down, meditate and put your swords in front of you and say, these are my worries. Let me contemplate this um, emotional situation. It's like a confusion over this communication or someone's abroad or they're coming towards you and you're not sure whether you want them to come towards you. Um, there is the page of swords here. Someone thinks they know a lot, but they don't. They're a young energy. They could be a Gemini as well. They blow hot air, so they talk a lot. Um, and they're a spy. They're jealous of you, Sagittarius. So you're on your own. You're Maybe this, this travel was... Um, cancelled or there's something you're confused about whether this person's going to come towards you or not but you're waiting it's like you're waiting um in the meantime the page of swords is kind of 
spying on your social media, talking about things or saying things that, that it's just a lot of gossip. And it's, it's a warning not to gossip, don't listen to gossip. There's someone that doesn't want to... See, the Hierophant, if it was upright, it would be commitment, marriage, uh, an institution, uh, a new home or something like that. Uh, the keys to a new home. But upside down, it's like someone doesn't want to commit. They don't want to commit to something yet. There's not enough knowledge. You don't have enough knowledge and you can't rely on the knowledge that you're getting or the spying or the things you're picking up because it's it's uh, it's air, it's hearsay. Um, so someone could be divorced, getting divorced. Someone could be breaking a commitment. Someone doesn't have enough knowledge or this person's words could... It's like you're not on this spiritual path. You know, this is being on the path. It's like you don't feel that this is the, the path. I don't know what it is, but you are contemplating this uh, fruit. This is a clear stretch of fruitful activity, of creativity, of someone travelling towards you. But because the moon is here, between solitude and this communication, it's like, can I believe everything this person says? Or you find this secret out and it sort of makes you take a uh, back foot. Uh, we've got... You could hear information about the uh, that someone is not buying a home or they're not committed or... They're not stable. And I think... That, or they're getting a divorce. So this, I mean, for some reason, this is a good thing because you've got the King of Wands here. And the King of Wands wants to take action. This this King is a handsome leader, an Aries, Sagittarius, fire. They've got, they could be relied on, Sagittarius. This is like your energy. Um, and you're, it's like, you're not getting the go ahead for something. But this King of Wands is going ahead, okay? And this Ace of Wands is... A spark of inspiration. It's a new passionate beginning. It's brand spanking new. Um, so what looks like something that you need to contemplate because you're confused about it turns out to be a, a cracking idea that you get this spark of inspiration maybe from a fire sign and they want to take action. They're offering passion. Um, and you've got it's like I've already got this fleece. I'm gonna I'm gonna start this other idea up. This is this is being gifted to me, and it's passion. It's like it's sexy. It's very sexy. Um, so with this hierophant upside down, there's not a commitment here, but there is some kind of. See, a king is stable. The page of swords isn't. That's probably why this trip gets cancelled or. Um, there could have been a fight with, there could have been a row with this group of people at work or a contract was broken but it's fated, there's something fated about the confusion, about the moon, about the night and the, the way, the, the fact that if you get a headache that you can't go on this trip um, that you find out this person's spying or they're jealous or they're blowing hot air about wanting a commitment um, so that this king can come in and say well, actually, I'm I'm ready. I've got ideas. I'm a leader and I'm a boss. And let's go and do this idea as well. Let's just have this passionate, um, creative beginning. And like I said, it's this new beginning with the fall here. It could be to do with travel. Angel, spirit guides, what would you like Sagittarius to know about the... It's just like one door closes, another one opens. And it's better. And I said the same sort of thing for Scorpio. Angel spirit guides, what would you like Sagittarius to know? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Too many cards, but I'm going to take the bottom three, the first ones that came out. We have new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And wedding. Look, this situation involves marriage. 
So if it's just one person we're dealing with, there's some communication coming in and maybe they want to get married to you, Sagittarius. And it feels that it's your turn, the wheel turned. But there is some kind of emotional worry uh, that maybe this person's abroad or, you know, but there's lots of communication. You could be selling stuff abroad as well. It could be with a new team. This person could be at work. Something here happens maybe within the communication that stops you talking to someone or stops you from going on this trip. Because um, maybe it's not spiritually what they want or what you want. You could be dealing with a Taurus. And Taurus likes to be stable like an ox, like on the ground, like a bull. But when the, this is upside down, it's like there's no travel, there's no wisdom, there's no uh, path. But this King of Wands, he's passionate, he's active, there's a creative idea. Trust that it's going to come out because... There's a wedding involved. Oh, angels. Let's ask the angels what Sagittarius needs to know. Sagittarius. What would you like Sagittarius to know about the week of the 21st of March? Please look into my question. Which Sagittarius? Angels, spirit guide, do the best. Please look into my question. March for Sagittarius. Which sweet cards for Sagittarius, please? What would you like them to know about the week of the 21st of March? I'm leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts and dreams, angels, spirits. So when you take this little time out, this, this time out, maybe God is making this so you can contemplate the where you're going to next. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like to get rid of some of your worries outdoors? Go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. See, angels, you're going to get these new ideas. Have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see. It's Cavi Sagittarius, what can I say? Um, so whatever happens this week, go with it because it's fated. Even if it confuses you, even if it puts you into a lockdown on your, or not talking or listening to somebody, it's like... Are they on my spiritual path? Is this the way I want to go? What action can I take um, at the end of this week? It's all going to come. This this fire sign, this this new idea. And it, 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 go outdoors. This you're being put in these positions towards this fated thing. And like I said, it might not come to the the light of it. Might not come to the light of day till the twenty first of April. But it's in the process. And you'll find out which idea it is at the end of this week. So we'll take a break to be patient with you. Take care, Sagittarius. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.